Hello and welcome back. My name is George Ann Ford with the Alpha Center for Divorce Mediation. Today, returning with us, Christine Lomb Lombardo Zon is coming back to us as an attorney mediator for the Alpha Resource Center um, with part three of something that she started last month. And um, she's picking up on that. And I'm going to let her go back into that and summarize what that all means. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much. So I'm really excited about this segment. Um, you know, I was looking over my notes. And so um, just to kind of, if, if this is your first time listening, um, I actually recorded two parts, part one and part two of what we're calling Through a Child's Eyes, where I met up with some young adults and we started this conversation about divorce. And it, it really got me thinking how you know, parents will talk and I'll, I'll talk to parents and say, how are your kids? And they'll be like, oh, kids are fine. Da, da, da. But I never really asked the kids how they're doing. And so this is how this all started. Um, so in, in parts one and two, what I talked about was um, asking them, you know, how did you feel when you found out your parents were getting divorced? Right. But then the second part addressed things like, well, what happened next? And so think of the, the series as like a timeline going through a divorce process. Um, so this part has one question that I asked and I only limited it to one question because I didn't wanna talk for 30 minutes. Um, and it was really important. It was a lot of rich information here. The question I asked was what, was, what were some of the most damaging things that happened to you during your parents' divorce. Now, these young adults, you might hear me saying that they're kids, but they're really young adults. Right. And I'm intrigued by this age group because, you know, not only are they dealing with their parents divorcing, but they're dealing with transition, going from being a kid, a teenager to an adult. Mm -hmm. That's hard enough on its own. Then you add COVID and you add a divorce, and you've got a triple whammy gone. And so, um, you know, it's important to me, um, mental health, emotional health, especially in this age group. Um, so it's something I, I, this question was really important. So one of the answers was. Um, what was the question again? I'm sorry. No, it's no problem. It was, what were some of the most damaging things that happened to you during your parents' divorce? Mm. Now embedded in these answers basically are pieces of advice. So the first answer was, um, I guess this one young lady was having a discussion with her father. Um, the discussion got heated and he commented and said, you're just like your mother. Hmm. Now he probably walked away and didn't think anything of it, you know? Um, but to the child, to the young adult, it was damaging. More damaging because of the divorce situation, I'm guessing, because we yeah. do say that when we're married, right? Oh, yeah, all the time, right? right? Oh, you're acting like your dad. You're mm -hmm. just like your mother. Um, and it's very tongue in cheek. But when you have that divorce, it's not acceptable. It actually can be a form of parental alienation. Okay. Because what's happening is the child's not taking that in one ear and out the other. They're basically saying, you're attacking my mother, which I'm a part of. So now you're attacking me. And I don't think the father intended to hurt his child like that. Right. But that's what the child felt. And so that's damaging. It's really damaging. Um, and so parents going through this, you know, stop and think about what they say to their kids, because whether they like it or not, the kids are a part of both parents. And even though the parents can't get along or they hate each other, they need to fake it in front of these kids or at least be civil. Um, so that was something that was really powerful. Right. Big revelation. Wow. Um, another a uh, young adult answered that they felt like they were still being treated like a child. Hmm. And 
I found that to be interesting. Um, you know, I'm a college professor. And, you know, so I see a lot of young adults and we talk about this all the time, this transition from going to being a kid to an adult, you know, and um, a lot of the feedback I get, especially from the ones that have been through divorced parents is, you know, when they're in college, they need that opportunity to spread their wings and fly and grow. Um, but when you're going through a divorce, it seems like the parents are holding on to the kids so that they can, you know, kind of have a safety net for themselves. But again, it, the, the parents have to realize that divorce isn't just about them. It He's was coming up so much with this conversation that you had with these uh, young adults is we think that they're better off when they're older. It's easier. It doesn't sound so much like it was, it's easier. No. And I guess one of the painful things that I realized is there's a lot of literature out there that talks about mental health awareness with college students, young adults. And um, the average statistic is that 70% of college students have anxiety. Over 50% have actually reported that they have either anxiety or poor mental health. Wow. And May was Mental Health Awareness Month. So it's, you know, I was reading a lot about that. And, and these are like an aggregate of different studies that I've read. Um, but a lot of colleges are starting to collect that data. Mm -hmm. um, and then they're trying to create infrastructures to support these young adults. Um, but that's just, think about that. That's with them not necessarily having parents of divorce. But if you have parents that are divorcing on top of that, imagine what that load must feel like on your back. Um, the other thing, uh, one young adult said was, you know, when their parents weren't getting along, okay. When the parents are getting along and you have like a mediated divorce, it's not as bad. Mm -hmm. it's, it's still bad, but it's not as bad. Right. But when you have two parents that are just at each other's throats and, you know, want to hurt one another, um, this leaves the young adult feeling disconnected. And that was a word I heard over and over again. They didn't feel like they had anywhere to belong. So here was a college student who was trying to find their way through college, trying to adult, but they were disconnected because they didn't have a place to go home to because their home was broken. So if they went home for break, like fall break, Christmas break, Thanksgiving, they were either going to one parent's house or another or splitting time. And so they felt very disconnected. And when you're making that transition to begin with, wow. Mm -hmm. They felt, some of them said they felt like an outcast. And so I guess, you know, if I had to pull out a big rock from this one particular question, it's that, you know, divorce isn't just about a husband and wife divorcing. If there's kids involved, most of the time they're the collateral damage or part of the collateral damage. And if you're a parent and you're watching this, I beg and implore you to really think about what you say before you say it, especially to your kids and work hard to kind of, you know, give them a break connected, you know, give them a place to come home to, even if it means going to the other spouse's house, you know, where they can feel connected and a part of a family. Um, you know, these kids, they didn't ask for any of this, right? You know, this was placed upon them. So that's why this segment, this series is so very important. There's you more can, to come. Yeah. You know, I, you can see how passionate you are about it. And that, that has us listening very attentively. Yeah. So thank you. So you there is another part. Uh, there, there might be two or three more parts. Okay. All right. Well, we look forward to that. Um, so we're looking forward to part four, come back next month and, and let's hear the rest of part four. If any of you have questions for Christine, wanna know more about the Alpha Resource Center for Divorce Mediation and the things they offer, the resources they have, 1-800-310-9085. Thank you.